I want to tell you where I'm going. I want to tell you what's going to happen, but for the first time in several years, I don't know. Which is why I'm here. As a child, I found this book. It was about six complete strangers who were crossing a bridge, going to church. And suddenly, the bridge collapsed, killing all of them. An old man who sat for years at a bench near the bridge observed the decay and rotting, the cracking and warping of the wood, and was there the day it finally collapsed. When asked by the father of the church why he said nothing, the old man replied, Who am I to interfere with fate? I was just gonna call you. I had another one. Yeah. No, this one was actually bad. She reached out to me. <laughs> when I have time, I'll go see someone. I'll make time. All right, listen, I'm running late. Let me call you back later. All right, see you tonight. Bye. Sick day back, please. Daryl, you volunteer. You don't have to tell me when you're not coming in. Why are you late? Alarm. And uh, remember, I'll be traveling soon. I'm finding it difficult to understand why you travel anywhere just to climb or paddle through something. It's Vietnam, and it's the Mekong. Still, you could just do that in someone's backyard. I have an extra clock if you need it. What? Alarm clock, if yours is broken. Oh, I didn't set mine. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, did anyone come in? Yes, one customer. I told him to come back in an hour. What did he want? To sell something, I think. Uh, also, I'm going to be bringing O'Doul's to your party, as I expect no one else will. You're coming? Yes. Uh, that girl who comes in here and whispers with a megaphone about how I might kill you one day? She invited me. 
Beth. <laughs> Sorry. And you know, to be honest, I, I'm not really looking forward to it. Peculiar. Because of me? No, not because of you, Daryl. I don't know, I'm just finding the whole vapid nature of eat, drink, work to be so monotonous. And now that it's draped around my birthday, it just seems like I'm moving forward while sitting still. Sometimes we have to move forward, regardless of where we begin. Well, sometimes moving forward isn't as easy as we think. I don't like Beth either. I need to sell something, Alex. John, what's wrong? You're acting a little strange. Um, is everything all right? I've reached that fork. Uh, I need to get rid of it. I need the money to cover some bills. Mm, but why are you bringing it here? Just how much can you give me for it? I'm sorry, I don't think we're going to be able to take this. Alex. Alex, you know me. I've been here a dozen times. Just give me whatever for it, and I'll go. I'm sorry, uh, I can't. I can't help you. Please leave. Girl, Sarah, hey, I didn't know you were coming. Oh, Mac brought me. I must not have gotten your text or email. Or invite. What? Oh, I said this song is tight. Oh, yeah, totally. I'm yeah. going to go grab some. Yeah, do your thing. Okay. What? That's for not listening. Listening to? That's for inviting someone that still owes me money. And that bitch steals. She does. Stealing all the forms. Exactly. And Alex loves cake. How's she supposed to eat cake now? You better not say a spoon. Where is Alex? I don't know. She probably left when she saw hey. Sarah! Hey! Have you seen Alex? No. I told her I was bringing someone for her, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Is there any more cake? Oh, yeah, plenty. How about forks? Do you know how I get in big groups? Well, I can tell everyone that you left. <sighs> no, it's fine. You don't have to do that. I just... I haven't been sleeping well, and I keep thinking about that dream I had. Alex, it was just a dream. Try to think of it that way. I'm trying. And then today, a regular came into work, and he flipped out on me, and... Well, flipped out like how? I, I don't know. He was... It was crazy. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do for you? Let me sit here and try again. All right, well, let me finish my drink and then I'll come up. Okay, please hurry. Sarah is playing sticky fingers with the cutlery again. <sighs> anyway, we need to put this on. I love uh, you, birthday girl. <laughs> love you too. Where are your shoes? 
I lost them looking for you, bitch. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, um, somebody pulled the fire alarm. Where were you? Well, I, uh, was at the liquor store. And when I walked outside, I had the cops had blocked off the road from the bus stop. Well, I was walking around, and there was that John guy just laying in the street. John guy? Yeah, he came in the store today. I think he got hit by a car or something. What? Are you sure? Yeah, same jacket, same shoes. <laughs> 